We got a series here called Rebuilding America, and we are highlighting efforts in that series to build a better world, and that includes people trying to build a better home for themselves. Americans are expected, believe it or not, to spend a record $485 billion on home repairs and remodeling in 2023, and that number includes do-it-yourself projects. Of those folks, 90% of them, 9 out of 10, watch videos on social media to try to figure out how to do the work. But in my case, none of that. The answer to all home improvement problems in my house, from the gunk under the sink to the chip cabinets in the kitchen, my solution has been ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. That has changed, however, thanks to what I learned from a DIY star of social media. Hi, I'm Bob Vila. Welcome home again. If you're like me, you've spent countless hours watching other people renovate their homes on television. Look at you, man. Oh, you guys are crowd molding experts. And if you've been inspired to rehab your own home, as millions have, you probably know that hiring a professional contractor isn't always necessary. I am going to save you a bunch of time on your next tiling project. Not when social media is now packed with tutorials that make even major home renovations look easy for a do-it-yourselfer. You can just stand it up and cut it at a regular 45 degree angle. But over at Real Life Renovation on Instagram and TikTok, a self-described dummy named Alex D'Alessio has a different approach. Did you really just break the drain? He's built an audience of hundreds of thousands Thousands of followers around a major dose of DIY reality. This is not always easy. <gasps> and you will screw it up sometimes. How is the drawer hanging going? Uh, it is going below par, which is on par with how it goes for me. Okay. And sure enough, when I stopped by recently to see Alex at work, I have no idea what to call this thing, a cabinet hardware jig maybe? Mistakes were made. Oh no, mm -hmm. that did not work out. But for a lifelong DIY skeptic like me, Alex's message is inspiring. Maybe I can take on a project or two. Here's just how easy it is to change the outdated life picture in your home that you've been putting off forever. For Alex, the proof is everywhere inside the townhouse he and his wife Kylie bought in Baltimore in 2020. His first project, an attempt to save a few bucks on a table. Kylie was like, we need to get like a $500 coffee table. We need this and this. I was like, let's spend the same amount of money, half the money on the tools and the wood. If I can't build it, I'll let you get whatever coffee table you want if you don't like it. And I let it rip. <laughs> he learned everything he needed from what he calls YouTube University. Now with the power of Google, YouTube, and some lessons learned along the way. And he's since done work on the laundry room, the basement, a home bar, the primary bathroom, and now his bedroom. Here's how my mother-in-law and I installed faux brick in my bedroom, made it look real, and how you can too. How much money would you have spent on professionals or store-bought stuff if you just did it the normal way? I would say if all together, probably at least 80, 90. And how much did it actually cost you? Maybe 10 with the tools, materials, all that. That's a pretty good advertisement for this way of living. Yeah. What's Great going to on, see man? you, man. Thank you for coming. To me, though, DIY renovation still sounded like a pretty good recipe for messing up my house, especially if Alex, no offense, was the one doing the work. After all, he was until recently a guy with a master's degree in a corporate job who had never even run a power tool. Now, welcome back to day 39 to finish my basement by myself. He is a full time social media star, but that doesn't exactly make him a skilled tradesman. And his assistant, not an apprentice carpenter, but his mother in law, Sherry, who herself had doubts about Alex working as his own handyman. Part of me, you know, reacted like any normal parent would like, oh my God, you're going to throw away away six years of school and I gave him six months <laughs> yeah and I yeah. said by March of 2021 if you don't have something lined up or if it's not getting better then yeah. you're going back to work but he has lined up paid sponsors saying he now makes double what he was earning at his old corporate job the wear and tear is considerable so maybe I thought we'll take on a couple small jobs around the house the chip pane on my kitchen cabinets and the mold colony in the caulk under my kitchen sink. We can definitely get this right. So now we need a stirring stick? Almost right away, we ran into some issues. I have to like take out chopsticks, bro. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> First, with the paint. Yep, we're gonna smooth all that out. 
which looked not exactly great after our first coat. I thought this was gonna cut out a lot easier. And then at the sink. Here we go, I got some slicing happening now. Oh, nasty. We had a heck of a time removing all the mystery goo. It's like actually oozing. Oh, it's a juicy monster back there. But in between the curse words, Nasty. And a particularly awful smell. You saw why I took a step back. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Something remarkable happened. <laughs> we couldn't get the silicon caulk out of its tube, no matter what we tried. Now we're going in. Whoop. And just when we were about to give up, Damn. Joe on camera one with a suggestion. Why don't you YouTube it? <laughs> so in the end, Alex got help the very same way he gives it. There's no way that you could ever get that to come out by ramming a nail down there. Through the wonders of the internet. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Hey, 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 look at that. <laughs> and that's what's so great wow. about this era. You didn't have to have a parent teach you this. I literally, we literally just learned it together. We didn't know if it was going to work, and here we are. This is extremely DIY. It wasn't pretty, but it got the job done. And no, the kitchen wasn't flawless, but it was definitely better. And in the world of DIY, I've learned better is absolutely perfect. You screw up a lot, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I let hundreds of thousands of people know it, and yeah. I think that's what, we all do it. But that's the real life in real life renovation. 100%, and that's why I started it. Thank you, Alex. I feel converted. I, I loved hanging out with him. I loved his whole family. Real life renovation is a really useful site, and you can do this, people. The amount of money he said that he saved, spending around 10, saving around 80 or 90 yeah. thousand dollars? It's yep. a lot of savings, but the risk is also high. I have to I have some chips on my cabinet too, and I, uh -huh. I'm too afraid to mess it up. One the line is no major plumbing or electricity, people. Yeah. Hear my right. words. 